Morning guys, uh, today we are going to work on a technique called annexing zeros so we can multiply by tens. And that word annexing really just means to take, right? So you're gonna take something to use it for your own. So we're gonna take zeros. What I mean by that is if I have the number 10 times 10, well, we know that that's 100, but what's happened is we can see that those two zeros are multiplied or mirrored in there, right? So if I have the number 20 times 10, I'm going to take my two zeros, zero, zero, and then I multiply one times two to get two. And if I take the number 37 times 10, then I just take my zero. Then I have one times 37. Using the identity property, that's going to be 37. I can use that for any number that has zeros in it. So if I have, say, uh, 60 times 30, I take my two zeros. I do 6 times 3, 6 times 3, to get 18. Okay. And it can go higher than that. I keep using just 10s, but say I want to go with uh, 57 times 40. That one gets a little bit trickier, but again, I just take my zero. Now I multiply 57 times 4. 4 times 7 is 28, so it's 8. I carry my 2. 5 times 4 is 20. 22. Uh, if I want to go with a little bit higher, if I want to go with 200 times 15, okay, I annex my two zeros. Zero, zero. I do 2 times 15, 30. My answer is 3,000. Okay. This is one that should allow us to multiply by tens in our head really quickly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a couple examples. And then I'm going to ask you to do them on your own, and I'll do some on there. So uh, if you work on, say, 32 times 10 and 600 times 30 and 24 times 100. And that went a little bit backward from the way we would normally see it, but I think using this technique, we won't have any problem here. Um, this one here does have two zeros, so I'm going to show you how that done. So uh, if I have 500 times 30. I have three zeros. One, two, three. Then I have five times three. You get 15,000. Okay. Uh, two, two, 22,000 times 40. Okay. I have one, two, three, four zeros. One, two, three, four zeros. Four times two is eight. Four times two is eight. Eighty-eight. Or I'm sorry, 880,000 is what I'm going to end up looking at. And one more. 160 times 300. Mm -hmm. One, two, three zeros. One, two, three zeros. 13, I'm th sorry, three times 16 is 48 giving me a total of 48,000. That looks all like nine. 48,000. Okay. It's a really easy technique. It's going to work out really well when we're doing our window pane method of mat multiplication. Um, it's going to work out whenever you're multiplying by multiples of 10. Okay. Thanks, guys.